reading from Matthew chapter 22 from verse 15. Then the Pharisees went out and laid plans to trap him in his words. They sent their disciples to him along with the Hetherodians. Teacher, they said, we know that you are a man of integrity and that you teach the way of God in accordance with the truth. You aren't swayed by others because you pay no attention to who they are. Tell us then, what is your opinion? Is it right to pay the poll tax to Caesar or not? But Jesus, knowing their evil intent, said, You hypocrites, why are you trying to trap me? Show me the coin used for paying the tax. They brought him a denarius and they asked them, Whose image is this and whose inscription? Caesar's, they replied. And then he said to them, So give back to Caesar what is Caesar's and to God what is God's. When they heard this, they were amazed. So they left him and went him and went away. So Jesus is approached by these two groups, the Pharisees, or rather the students of the Pharisees. The Pharisees themselves are still recovering from the last couple of parables. And the Herodians. These two groups come together and they pose a question to Jesus. Should we pay taxes? Now it might sound like an innocent enough question, but it's obviously meant as a trap. So Jesus starts his response by not actually answering the question. He turns to the Pharisee and says, give me one of the coins that gets used to pay the tax. The Pharisee goes into his nice leather drawstring purse and takes out a shiny silver coin, Roman denarius. And in that moment, you can just imagine his face falling as he realizes He's just messed up. He's just shot them in the foot. Did you catch it? Jesus has to ask the Pharisee to give him a coin because Jesus doesn't have any coins. Jesus doesn't have any money. He lives outside the normal rules of society. And if he doesn't have any money, then he can't pay any tax. On the other hand, the Pharisee does have the coin that gets used to pay the tax, which means He pays taxes. If Jesus says, yeah, go pay taxes, the Pharisees can't challenge him on it because they do it. They've just shown that they do it. It would just be making it even more obvious how much they're just being hypocritical. So, Jesus has destroyed that side of the trap. But he's not happy to just leave it there. So now he turns to the Herodians He says, whose face is on the coin? Well, it's Caesar's. So give to Caesar what is Caesar's and give to God what is God's. You see, this coin, the denarius, was something of an icon of the power of Rome. It was made of silver, 98% silver, really pure. And they were all stamped, minted with the face of Caesar. Maybe this isn't exactly what Jesus meant when he said, give to Caesar what is Caesar's. But I think what he was really saying is, God doesn't want Caesar's money. The thing that God wants, the thing that he treasures and that he knows is not going to lose its value, the thing that he puts his mark on and brands as his own, is us. That's what he wants. So that's what we should be giving him, ourselves. We start this encounter as these two groups forming an unlikely alliance and trying to trap Jesus. And it ends with the message that God, the creator of the universe, wants us for his own.